proposal, uh, now having uh, been declined by the IOC, leaves us without uh, that kind of uh, alternative which I and members of the City Council had sought for so long, a protection against financial obligation by this city for the promotion of the games. And I am therefore uh, sending the letter uh, to the City Council recommending that they withdraw the bid for the 1984 Olympic Games. I've just received a letter from the International Olympic Committee in which they have rejected the proposal of the private organizing committee for the City of Los Angeles uh, to promote the Games in 1984 in the city. Uh, the proposal included a phrase which would have protected the city against financial responsibility. The private organizing committee, which uh, had uh, been in negotiations with the IOC representatives, will also be sent this uh, correspondence, and they will be asked to examine it to see whether in uh, their uh, negotiations uh, there is some further room for discussion uh, with the U.S. Olympic Committee or with the IOC. But it seems to me that uh, at the moment, this is where the situation lies, and uh, we will await further developments uh, by the private committee or by the city council. I'll call on Councilman John Ferraro. To say a disappointment to Los Angeles, and uh, I hope that the committee, uh, the private committee, is able to come up face to face with the uh, International Olympic Committee Executive uh, Committee and and talk about the any unusual cost and we have done that and uh, our committee uh, uh, has its next meeting on Thursday of this week and at that time we will uh, take up this subject and discuss uh, what our recommendations might be uh, in reading the letter from uh, Lord Kalanen, uh in several places, it, in clear English, indicates that they have a desire to hold the games in Los Angeles. We likewise have a desire to have those games here. From the beginning, we have advocated doing that in a fashion that would protect the taxpayers of this community from any liability. And that, likewise, is referenced in the letter from Lord Kalanen. So we seem to be headed the same direction, but we're perhaps not doing such a good job of getting there. And to some extent, I think there's a communications gap. We have uh, not had the opportunity uh, since Athens to discuss th these matters face to face with Lord Kalanen or with any member of the executive committee of the International Olympic Committee. We met in Montreal, but those were with representatives. So. Everything they've heard, they've heard secondhand. And unfortunately, in the interim, they've been traveling and have not been uh, that available. So uh, it looks like uh, one good possibility would be what Mr. Ferraro has referenced, and that would be for representatives of uh, our committee to meet face to face with representatives of their committee see if they mean what they say about desiring to hold the games here in Los Angeles, and together explore uh, ways in which we can accomplish that. At any rate, that'll be a decision of our committee. Uh, and as I indicated earlier, we'll meet later this week.
financial obligation by the City of Los Angeles, uh, the offer uh, to host the games should be withdrawn. Uh, Mr. Ferrara.